the last two videos I've shown you how to create a new screen and how to create a new feed. In the next few videos I'm going to show you how to add content to those screens and to those feeds. In particular in this video I'm going to show you how to add photos. First we need to start by clicking on the add button under, under the content and you will see all the different types of content you can add. If you remember in the last video, we talked about the calendar, the iframe, and the video being taken off because we don't need them. So even though they show up here, when we actually select our feed, if you try to add that content, it won't let you. Let's start off with the graphics. The best way to organize your graphics for this is to actually already have them saved under a folder. So that way, when you go to browse, like I'm about to do, you will know right where to go to. So as you can see here, I already have several pictures saved that we're going to use for this presentation. Now these pictures are just different photos that you can find around the campus. Um, here we have some of the students. We have a cross-country team here. We have some teachers. Here's Mr. Hamilton doing a demonstration at the high school. Here's one of the football field. So, since this is a Gilmer ISD presentation, I've decided to get some photos from all the different aspects of our school. So, let's just start adding these one at a time. Select it, and then you've got to name it. This one is going to be Presentation 1. Now, the Start Displaying and Finish Displaying are very important. If you want to start adding a screen but you don't want to display for maybe another week because you just want to make sure it looks good or you want to keep adding content to it, you can choose to actually start it a week later. I'm going to leave mine for today. You can also choose when it's going to finish playing. You can do it the next day. You can do it the next week you can do it two years from now in October for this display I'm going to leave it there for now here we have the time you want the picture to stay on the screen eight seconds is a long time considering the amount of pictures we have so I'm going to move this down to six seconds now this is important here we have no feeds have been selected yet for the submission we created a feed called Gilmer ISD. Click on that and in a future video I'm going to show you why it's important to have this but just remember to actually put the picture or any of the content you had under the feed for your particular video and then you submit it and it shows you that it's been submitted. So let's go and add another picture. Since I'm already in this folder, it's going to come up in the picture folder. And let's just go through and add them. And now I'm adding my last photo. Now some of these photos may seem blurry, especially in the presentation. That is because I just copied them and saved them from the internet. It would be better if you have actual pictures saved from a camera that you took them off of. That way it will be the best resolution. Now that we have added all of our photos, if you click on the Browse button and go to our page, you can see that there's 13 future items and here's all the photos we added. 